State and federal officials say they've broken up a major drug dealing ring in Western PA and across the country. The U.S. Attorney's Office says the years long investigation started with a simple drug buy and led to several raids on suspected drug houses. The raids that have taken place over the last week, all part of something called Operation Lake Effect, led by the Justice Department, their main objective to try to quell and in many cases eliminate the drug trade from many neighborhoods. The streets of places like Arnold in New Kensington, Pennsylvania, are quiet today after federal agents and state law enforcement officials descended on neighborhoods all over western Pennsylvania looking for and finding suspected illegal drugs and arresting those who allegedly dealt them. More than 60 individuals have been charged federally, 57 here in the Western District of Pennsylvania and eight by the Western District of Washington. Federal agents displaying pictures of some of the items collected in the raids. Over the past 10 months and as the result of an extensive wiretap investigation, agents and officers have seized more than 673 pounds of fentanyl-laced fake prescription pills over 400 pounds of methamphetamine, more than 16 pounds each of fentanyl powder and cocaine. We've also seized over $600,000 in cash, nine vehicles, 47 firearms. Officials say the investigation has many branches, but it apparently all began just over the border in Ohio. This started as a, like many of our investigations do, uh, local law enforcement sees a problem that's happening. They learned here it was a, a street-level violent gang from Cleveland that had set up shop. Agents say most of the drugs came via Arizona but originated in Mexico. Those arrested spanning from the suppliers at the very top to local dealers. All of those arrested face numerous felony drug and weapons charges. Officials say none of this would have been able to take place without the cooperation of various law enforcement agencies, and they say the investigation is far from over. In Arnold, Roscadotti, KDKA News.